Good morning, everyone. This is Alan with 4A's Racing Loft. And I'm here on another training toss, 74 miles with two other members of my club. This will be the third time that we have shipped together. Uh, the first time, uh, as everyone knows, I have very young birds hatched April and May. They were minutes behind. Uh, Frank and Osmani um, at 46 miles. The second toss was 46 miles again. Uh, this time a lot closer. Frank, uh, if we look at average speed, came in about 41 miles an hour. Osmani and I both came in about 40 miles an hour. I will say that 46 mile toss was against headwinds all the way. There was south southwest winds they were released northeast so they had to fight the headwinds all the way back about eight miles an hour uh, today there are 74 miles northeast again on the race course so we're expecting good results winds are no greater than two miles an hour uh, the last toss we would get them on um, before the race uh, sunday uh, we didn't race last Sunday due to bad weather, high winds gusting between uh, 15 and 25 miles an hour. So there was no way that we we're going to do that. You know, I've already discussed the importance of training with other loss. It really teaches your birds to break, to think a little bit more and try to get more direct to going home. You would lose less birds by them learning how to break from others. I think it's very helpful. And if they realize they're making a mistake, they will catch themselves a lot sooner. Um, if, if they learned how to break from other groups and learn how to fly with other groups before you put them with hundreds of birds. It's probably the reason why the first young bird race is high losses because individuals probably didn't take the time to train their birds with other people and their birds really didn't understand what was going on and on. They panicked, they got nervous, they in crates with a lot of the birds, um, came out and birds are flying all over the place because they're just not used to that scenario. So train with other lofts, put your birds in their crates, set them in there for hours, make sure they get used to that. So you wanna try to teach them things that they're gonna experience when they go on the race. So the first time that they're exposed to it is not on your first race. And then they let out. You see a bunch of birds that are circling for a long time before they leave. And then um, there's a good chance your birds are just gonna follow other birds to a loft and they're gonna sit there for quite some time or they're just gonna fly to they can't fly any further, have no energy and go down and just don't get back up. So the best thing you can do is train your birds, train them with others, condition them, expose them, put them in crates, have them sent, uh, sit in crates for quite some time. If you can, water them in the crates if you have it so to get used to being watered in the crate. And then a week or two before your first race, start feeding them in a manner that you're going to feed them when races start. So that way they're used to everything. So, hey, look, I'm getting ready to let them up. Let me sit you down.
I can definitely tell they wanted to get out. There are two bigger groups. One's there, which is a smaller one. There's a larger group. And looks like they're out. They are all together. Don't know if you can see them. Maybe the sun is catching their wing. They're coming together as a one group. And if it appears to me, they are heading out in the right direction, just making sure. Nope, they're still trying to locate. Right there, you can probably just see the wing. And again, this is something to get them in the habit of doing. Because your birds, you know, when they all come out of the crate, they want to group up together and then start finding their way and heading out. So the sooner they can do it, which is there, and it looks like they're heading back. Yeah, they're going out of, out of the area, heading back home. So, hey, more opportunities you get them to, with other birds to learn how to group up, how to break, how to leave, putting in a crate, drinking water, getting their feed as normal as you can based upon what they will be experiencing during the race week and the day of shipping things will go much better so look everybody take care be safe hopefully everything goes well we get a race off this weekend i will see if i can record sh um, shipping and then returns if everything goes well take care Give me a like, subscribe, share, thumbs up. Be safe.